ISB is one of the most desired programs across Asia as well as very highly ranked across the globe. So hi everyone, my name is Rohit Jha and in this video I'm going to walk you through all the details of the ISB program and how you can actually get into this program. So but before I start, please do subscribe to our channel. You can see a blue icon on your channel. Just click subscribe and press the bell icon button so that whenever we'll upload any video you'll get a lot of guidance on your career related aspects on MBA, MIM and overseas programs as well as interview skills. Right so let's start uh, let's start the discussion. So I have divided this video into four categories. In the first I'll talk about the program overview. Uh, number two I'm going to talk about program eligibility and the prerequisites. Number three, I'm going to talk about some of the very great highlights of this program. And number four, which is very, very important, is the application process and how you can actually get into ISB. So yeah, let's start with the first one. Let's talk about the program overview. Now, ISB program is PGP uh, MBA postgraduate program in management. It starts every year from April to March. So it's a one year MBA program. And ISB has two campuses, one in Hyderabad as well as another one in Mohali. And the total strength or the number of students they admit every year, that's around 900. I know it's massive, but still you'll see it's a great institution. So the total strength is 900. And if you see the average age of the ISB MBA program is around 27 years. And if you talk about the work experience there, so it's around four to five years, the median experience of the class. Now let's talk about a little bit about the program fee as well. So the program cost is uh, at par at any global institution or any global MBA program across the world. So the total cost is around 36 lakhs. Yes, you heard it right. It's 36 lakhs approximately. That includes your tuition fee, uh, your hostel, your lodging expenses, uh, your food, uh, anything is all inclusive in 36 lakhs except your personal expenses. But there are variety of scholarships that's the good news so there are a lot of scholarships based on your merit uh, based on your need and uh, there are other achievement based scholarships as well so i'm going to make a separate video on specially on scholarships at isp so there's no problem you can just check out that video so this is about the program overview now let's talk about the program prerequisites or the eligibility what you need to get it there the first one you need to have a bachelor's degree in any discipline so there are no marks uh, cut off like 50 percent or 60 percent you should have scored uh, in your bachelor's degree number two is your a valid gmat or a gre score in the last five years now when i say a valid score uh, on an average if you see at isb the range is from 600 to 770 for those 900 students so you will have a student to get 600 gmat as well and you will also have a student with a 770 gmat but if you talk about a median GMAT or an average, it's around 710. So you can see it's highly competitive. But of course, there are other aspects of the application process. We'll see in this video at a later stage. Let's talk about the GRE also. So they accept the GRE score as well. So the average GRE score, if you have around 320 plus or maybe around 325. So that's a good score to get into ISP program. Now let's move on to the next part is a minimum <coughs> work experience required so around two years is the minimum work experience which is required to pursue this MBA program at the end of the uh, before the start of this program so now we move to the next part which is your letter of recommendations which I'll cover in the application process as well but I'll cover this in this uh, eligibility as well because you need to have two letter of recommendations from maybe from your ex manager or from industry experts or your clients or anyone else we'll see this in the uh, future video lastly you need to have an english proficiency test score only if you do not have the medium of instruction as english in your bachelor's degree but most of the students uh, in india they have the medium of instruction as english so this won't be a big problem only if you don't have then you need to give either ielts TOEFL, or any other exam so this is about the program eligibility now let's move to the next uh, section of our video that's program highlights or I would say some of the remarkable things about Indian School of Business which is definitely going to <coughs> help you to take your decision. So let's talk about some of the placement statistics first. So as I mentioned uh, in the previous section 
there are around 900 students they got admit every year so if you talk about 2019 so for those 900 students they had more than 1300 offers and almost 220 companies from diverse industries ranging from financial services to consulting to banking to marketing to kpo to research they have visited the campus so now you can see the offer it's almost half of them have got more than one offer so one is to 1.5 offer per student so that's great for in terms of a placement if you expect a good job after pursuing their mba program now on an average the salary if you talk about the ctc that's around uh, 20 lakhs on an average but of course uh, you should never go by this number it completely depends on your profile your background and you see only in your range how the things went in the last five years so you can be a good judge based on that particular data this is a general data for the overall class so it's around 20 lakhs and upper limit it could be anything it went up to one cr or even the overseas salaries is more than 100,000 or 120,000 dollars so this was about the placements now if you talk about the rankings so it's ranked fifth in the asia pacific and 28th in the overall ranking across the globe by financial times so this most important part is the top 30 programs in the globe that's a, that's really is a big achievement for this program now apart from this uh, isb has a go very strong i would say very robust alumni network of maybe more than around 11,000 plus students, professionals across the globe, spanned over maybe 35 or 40 countries. That's a very good uh, network to have because as an MBA student, this is the network you're looking for. And this is you're going to leverage not only during the program or just after the program, but forever in your life. That's going to be very, very helpful for you. So now let's move to the faculty or the exchange program. So ISB has got a blend of domestic as well as the international faculties. It, it ranges from you know top class professors to young professors. So you will have a, almost a, a bunch of more than 150 professors. So that's quite a number and it's quite a diverse batch of professors. Another important aspect is the salary increase. Now, if you the statistics of the last three years or on an average three year increase, it's almost 200% for ISP. That is still amazing to you know go to any school which has got a 200% salary increase statistics. Now, the last and the very important in the program highlights is the exchange program option. Now, ISB has a tie up with almost all the top schools across the world. So, you will definitely get an opportunity to visit some of the top schools in your due tenure. You can go to Wharton or the Harvards or any of the top school which you have dreamt of in the past. So, there is your opportunity at ISB, you can avail that as well. So, this is about the program highlight, and I would say a great uh, highlights about ISB which can really interest you to get into this program now let's move to the next section where we'll talk about the application process now in the application process of course first step is your GMAT score which I've already discussed uh, the average GMAT score as well as the range of GMAT score from 600 to 770 but that's not <clears throat> all the beauty of these global MBA programs and of ISB as well that they take your application holistically they consider each and every aspect of your life and then they take a decision that whether you are going to be a great leader and you are going to be a good fit for the program and because of that you need to write a couple of admission essays that's the most important part of your application process now what are those essays how many essays you have to write so in generally ISB will ask you two questions primarily so the one question will be around your career goals short term and the long term goals future planning and how this program will fit into your future goals so when you have this question i would recommend you to be very very specific about your goals so for example if you say that post mba i want to get to get into financial services then be specific about financial services also for example you want to get into banking or you want to get into private equity you want to get into asset management so the more clearer goals you have the better it is for you same goes for your long-term goals so for long term of course you don't know what you're gonna be in 10 or 20 years down the line but you can have a logical explanation that you know either you want to excel in your industry or maybe you want to explore a couple of domains within the industry and then you can take a decision for a long term planning but the idea is to give a logical explanation which is very much aligned to your background or thoughts or you have a very rational strong rationale to pursue that career opportunity but be specific in that 
and then next part will be how this program will help you to achieve that goal now for this of course you really need to analyze the program very carefully just see all the aspects of the program and how this program some of the elements of the program can help you in actually achieving your goal now it could be the leadership skills it could be problem solving abilities it could be decision making skills which are very very important for your future job role and that you're going to learn in this one year so those things you have to connect it from the program itself so do analyze the program completely do analyze your goals and see where there is a best match pick up few elements and thus explain in your admission essays it could be from 300 to 500 words now the second question for the application essay will be very important and that is about you which is if let's say they will ask you if uh, we have to admit one more student why it's you now to answer this question most of the time see you have already given them a, a technical background the work experience background through your professional cv now in your essays it's very important to shine from your personal angle or your leadership skill so just focus on everything in your life just pick up all your achievements assignments initiatives whatever you have done in your life right from school college or your work experience and see where are the leadership elements in that where are the situations where you took tough decisions where you acted as a leader where you helped others where you contributed to the society you contributed to the teams you have worked on or you contributed to the people around you so these are the things they are looking for because as an individual they are assessing you how you can be a good fit to the class how you can contribute to the class from your previous experiences and how you can contribute to isb as a community that's why they assess you on the basis of your leadership skills of course those skills are extracted from your work experience as well as your education background and some other community work that you do so just be very careful when you craft these two answers because these are very important for your application even if you have a high gmat score or a low gmat score in both the scenario don't take this for granted you need to shine in your application essays now next as i mentioned is a letter of recommendation now they would require you to two letter of recommendations so it's always good to take a letter of recommendation from someone whom you know very well and with whom you have worked for some time not whom you are very good friends with or maybe work for a month or two months no don't take recommendations from such people take recommendations idly from your manager and second one could be your client or could be anyone you know with whom you have associated in your previous organizations and tell them to be very very specific when they write their achievements they should mention the specific projects or assignments and again key skills which you have showcased uh, during those assignments or projects because that's really important for the admission committee to judge you as a person or as an as an individual and this gives a very strong validation of who you are is validation is coming from two experts with whom you have worked so that's why letter of recommendation is extremely important so i have made another video on uh, letter of recommendation as well uh, you can just go and check out that as well now the next of course we will move to the personal interview round uh, so till the time if you move to the personal interview round definitely you have done well so far now you just don't need to repeat uh, no don't need to do any mistake just do whatever you did at the time of your essays assess yourself again because again interview will be revolving around your short term and long term and mba goals how you can contribute to the class what's your future plan uh, your leadership skills they'll ask you a lot of situational questions they might ask you a lot of abstract questions some general industry trends they can touch upon or a lot of behavioral questions your contribution to the people uh, to the society and how do you think about uh, leadership all these things are covered in the personal interview and of course by the time you write all those applications application essays honestly you will have a very good picture till when you will reach, reach to the personal interview stage so definitely be very very focused when you are applying to isb it is the most competitive program so again i am reminding don't take it lightly even if you have a gmat score of 720 or a gmat score of 620 because let me just summarize it and i'll tell you the acceptance rate at isb is around 10 or 11% approximately or so you can see how competitive it is so just don't let loose and stay focus right from your gmat till your personal interview everything so thank you so much and all the best so in case you need any guidance you can connect with us 
and do like share and comment thank you so much and give your feedback so that we can make more videos till the time take care and goodbye